enjoying a treat, as you can see. It straight blows my mind that it is 2020. For me especially because I'm graduating vet school in the year of 2020. Like, I've waited for this for so long. I think that 2020 is going to bring a lot of good changes and growth in my life. I think that's true for a lot of people. And I have a lot of goals and dreams for this year. I'm not going to go into all of that. But I mean, I'm graduating and then getting married to Danny in July and doing some traveling. And then we accepted a job at an emergency clinic in Virginia Beach, Virginia. We are so, so excited to start working. We finally found our niche, that part of veterinary medicine that we're really, really passionate about, and that is emergency medicine, 100%. So we're gonna get our first job and we're gonna find a place to live and we're gonna try to save our money all this year and live really frugally so that then we can start building our dream house. So I decided I really wanted to prioritize my personal growth this year. So this year I'm going to be doing a 30 day challenge every month. I saw a bunch of other YouTubers doing this and it really inspired me. A lot of them give up caffeine for 30 days, give up sugar for 30 days, go vegan for 30 days. I already got that one covered because I've been vegan for a year and a half now. But a lot of them give up things and that's really cool. I probably will do some 30 day challenges where I give up things too, but I really want to make the 30 day challenges my own. I have a whole list of things that I wanna try from you no know, driving for 30 days and just riding my bike everywhere to you no know, trash for 30 days, taking a soul cycle class every day for 30 days, no spending for 30 days. Probably have to do the no spending month right after the Soul Cycle month because I'll spend literally all of my money on Soul Cycle if I do it every day. But yeah, you get the gist. <laughs> for January of this year, I decided to try meditating for one hour every day for 30 days. Now that one's not as glamorous and fun sounding as my other ideas, I know, but I feel like I really need this. I need to prioritize my mental well-being. doesn't give you a lot of time to take care of yourself and to take care of yourself mentally. I just need to get in a better routine of focusing my thoughts more positively. So I'm a type A personality, as you all know. I did a lot of research on meditation before I started this and I found that meditation has so many benefits. There are so many studies showing how beneficial meditation can be for you, not only your mental health but your physical health and your overall well-being as a human. So, several studies demonstrated meditation's amazing ability to decrease blood pressure, lessen effects of depression and anxiety, help people quit smoking, and improve productivity and cognitive function. I'd say that's a pretty impressive list. So, I started learning how to meditate a few months ago, and I've just been doing it maybe for 5-10 minutes, very inconsistently, not every day, just so that I can see what I'm getting into. So I first started with researching a lot of different meditation apps and there are so many to pick from and you guys, if you start doing this, you should choose the one that best fits your lifestyle. And I tried several and I ended up going with one called Insight Timer. It is one of the top meditation apps in the world and I really, really enjoy it. I look forward to using it every day. Insight Timer has entire courses of daily meditation to teach you different methods of meditating. They tell you how many people in the world meditated with you during your meditation. And half the time people send me messages that were meditating nearby and say, thanks for meditating with me, which I think is so cool and just builds a really cool community feel around meditation and mental well-being in general. It also shows you where in the world everybody is meditating, which is super cool. They have literally everything, so I'm super excited to use it for an hour a day. So I'm gonna try a different meditation strategy every day until I figure out what I like best and what I need and I will keep y'all posted and let you know how it goes.